Welcome, Avril Lavigne! I'm so excited to see you. I, okay. it's, been a, it's been a few years. It has, but I have to start with this. Okay, so Bite Me comes out with Travis, the, yes. the single, and I see the video and I'm like, did you, were you in some kind of time capsule? Because you look <laughs> just like you did. I was like, what? I was literally watching it and you did such a great job of like, you know, people love your sound so much and I felt like you did such a great job of like, having the sound that we love you for, but it was progressive, like it was different. Mm -hmm. And it was so, anyway, job well done. Oh, thank you so All much. Right I was thank like, you. God. <laughs> and I love Bite Me, it was so good. Thank I was you. so excited about it. And what a way to like just come swinging with a single. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. And I didn't know this, but you started out in country music? Was um, that what, or that was your kind first? Kind of, like I started singing uh, in church when I was younger and then mm -hmm. like, um, I sang with Shania Twain when I was like 14 on stage. What? And just like country fairs around town. Then when I got into high school, I was like, mm, and like started writing my own stuff and yeah. um, developing my sound then and went off to kind of make my record, but yeah, yeah. Um, well, this year is actually the 20th anniversary of your album, Let Go. Um, what do you remember about making it? Cause I, people ask me, I've been in the industry about 20 years too, and yeah. it's like, I think how people perceive things is different than maybe the, there's a lot of good and bad that goes on behind the scenes yeah. while making a record. Like, what do you remember about it? Um, well, I think making my first record was hard because, like, I wanted to be a songwriter, and I was 15, and, like, people didn't really, like... Like, I'd go in the studio, and they're just like, yeah, 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 little girl, like, you don't know what you're like. Oh, yeah, doing. I got that, too. And it was kind of like they were throwing their songs at me and pitching their songs to me which I really didn't like. And so it was a fight. It was a fight to write my own music and then there was a fight to get the sound I wanted. Cause like, I guess like I was going for like guitar driven yeah. like music. I was like, I just want to sound like a band. I want to rock. And that was my challenge. Mm. And so it took like, I was in New York maybe six months working with tons of writers. It just was not happening. And then I went through a point where I think it just like wasn't working out very great. And then I went to LA and then I finally met with some people producers and co-writers that like listened to me and I at that point had tried so hard and I was like de developing into like who I wanted to be and it worked I found people I clicked with and so like yeah like that album took a while and it was hard and I had to like fight for like being a songwriter fight to like have the sound that I wanted sit with the producers I had no idea how, what the lingo was I was just like, yeah. make it more rock make it sound more like a band but what yeah. I wanted just was guitar driven stuff I think it yeah. would have been more polished and poppy and bubble gum and that wasn't what I wanted so yeah. I, I made the record I did want though. So. I love that. And it is it is true though. You have to like after all that. People push, especially in the beginning of my career too. Yeah. They push and you're a teenager and they're like, oh, we're gonna make, yeah. you know, write with this person, do this. And it's like you don't click yeah. with everyone. Yeah. And it's, there's nothing wrong with them, but like mm -hmm. you do find your people that you yeah. click really well with, and then I feel like magic happens. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I love all your albums. So Thank I'm so you. excited about this one. So <laughs> um, as I mentioned though, your new album is called Love Sucks, which well, sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. Um but I heard I, I heard ironically enough that you met your new boyfriend while yeah. making it. How funny is that? Like, I went into the <laughs> studio, I'm literally like, okay, here's where I'm at. Like, I'm over love. I need a hot minute. Like, I, like I'm jaded on love right now. Like, Flick. Uh, yes. <laughs> and like, so you kind of have to like do that when you're in your writing sessions is talk about like where you're at and stuff. So I wrote that song, Love Sucks. Set, that set the tone for this album. Yeah, and then a couple la days later, I had a boyfriend. <laughs> Did it, Avril. <laughs> I literally never signal. <laughs> I love. I know, but I love that it's like you're not wanting it. It wasn't yeah, you were searching for it. It was like the first time in my life. Like I had just like moved, and I moved out to Malibu, yeah. and I like was like starting my life over. And I was like, all right, like I'm good. Like I'm just gonna focus on myself, and like do me and just like give it a break. Plus I haven't had like the best luck, but I mean, I've had, I've had amazing relationships and they've been like long-term yeah. and stuff, but like, I just kinda like, I'm gonna focus on myself and it just like really didn't last. And then it happens and yeah. you're like, or I'll go on yeah, the state. Whatever. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. But made an oh. album called Love Sucks, but it's also like super lighthearted and like yeah. funny and fun. And it's like kind of just like the ups and downs, my life in love and just mm -hmm. like, it's a good time. Which is relatable. Yeah, for, for a lot sure. Of people. And like my first album, it's like, yeah, am I kind of still writing the same <laughs> but like, 
<laughs> you know, it's like I was no. writing when I got out of high school, like yeah. fresh out of high school, like to just to like having crushes for the first time. Yeah. And now on my seventh album, it's like my, uh, you know, I've had, I've had experience. I've, I've lived, I've learned and, and. But that's why I think it was a good <laughs> thing though. It went, no, 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 I think apparently they stay the same. No, but I think, that, like, I think it was a good, like I said, I like that you kept like the vibe was cool and like similar to what we love about you, but it wasn't the same. Yeah. I think it's a really cool progressive like sound of it. So, um, or progress sound of it rather, but I, I love it. And I think it's relatable. It doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah. You, we go through ups and downs in relationships. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it happens. Um, but la later in the show, you're going to be doing a song called Love It When You Hate Me, which I love that one as well. <laughs> it's very sarcastic. So what's, what's yeah, it about? It's yes. like a fun, funny take on like, um, like being in like a heated, passionate relationship where it's like, you know, you're fighting and then it's kind of hot. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because then you get the makeup stuff. Yeah. So there you go. I kept it. Love fanny. that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, everybody, Avril's new album is called Love Sucks. You've got to check it out and stay with us.